here at Florida Watercolor Society. Today we're talking about how to set up equipment to capture your painting in a video. We're going to talk about your capture equipment, we're going to use cell phones and tablets, and also the devices you need to mount them to get the angles you need, and also what other equipment you need to do lighting and sound. We're going to talk about both uh, uh, equipment to get two angles on your painting and your palette and we're also going to show you uh, ways you can show you can paint both horizontally and also vertically. So let's get started. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Thank you. Now I want to show you what I use to uh, shoot the intro video here. Here we've got an iPad uh, attached to uh, using an iPad hold, tripod holder and attached to an old Artograph uh, tripod. And here we have a selfie light, a selfie stick, which I actually had this iPhone 11 attached to uh, to get the different angles. So you can see that you can use two devices and uh, get two different angles. I want to talk about the importance of lighting. It's very important to have yourself very well lit. Now I happen to be recording right now in an art center that's got state-of-the-art LED light that was specifically designed to best show and replicate outdoor light. So I've got very good light. Don't have a lot of uh, external lights on right now. However, you may not have that kind of light. You may not have really great light in your studio or outside. So then you might need some other kind of lighting devices. And that's a big ring light with a cell phone holder in it. Uh, I don't have to have it turned on, but you can use this if you want to light yourself and also uh, record with your cell phone. Looking head on, just make sure that the ring light, if you're wearing glasses, you will get a reflection of the ring light in your glasses, so watch out for that. Next to that, I've got a ring light that's on a gooseneck with also a cell phone holder, and then it has a clamp that'll attach to a table or a, a counter or something. And uh, it has, because of the gooseneck, it can give you a lot of good angles, both with the uh, cell phone holder and also the ring light. And then next to that, I have this little ring light here that I use and attach to paintings when I'm uh, demonstrating on Zoom. So test your sound quality before you uh, get going and really record your demo. You may decide you need an external mic. If you do, here's one example. Do some research, figure out which uh, works well with your cell phone. These things are easily figure out. You can figure these out uh, a little bit on the internet or let us know when we can give you some suggestions. I am showing this for multiple angles and I'm just going to start painting so you can see 
a little bit of what you see when you put paper, uh, paint on this paper that you can see multiple angles. You can see the uh, palette. You can see me reaching for the palette. You can also see how messy my palette is. Uh, I recommend you, if you are doing a video, that you think about maybe simplifying your palette and doing a single palette as opposed to double palette. But, it's uh, alright. You can see the different, that you can see me move to different colors. You can see me see different angles on this. well with um, just a few colors. I just moved over to um, some, under, some uh, ultramarine blue. I also pull in, go back to my cobalt blue violet into, into her shoulder here. what I'm using as my, uh, my, my uh, equipment. I've got here on my right, I have an iPhone and I'm using an Artograph projector tripod. So this is something that was sitting around my house I've never used, got it out. It has a great gimbal and we've attached it with a cell phone attachment which actually came from another device super easy to get this cell phone attached and you get a great angle with this. I actually haven't been using this, but I think I'm gonna start using this because it's a great angle, particularly for down. Over here, we have a ring light. This was a $50.99 ring light with a cell phone holder. And there, we're gonna show you uh, soon what it looks like when you put the cell phone in that cell phone holder, but it's a really great ring light because it, and it has multiple colors. You do want a ring light uh, for to light yourself up. Over here, we have a cell phone attached to a microphone boom. Any old microphone boom will work. And this is a really simple uh, tripod holder, which has these little flexible arms over here. And then we have some ring lights over here. Uh, I do recommend having one ring light at least to light up things. You don't need necessarily the big ring light, but maybe a little green light. Depends on your own overhead lighting. So I typically paint vertically, so I wanted to show you also how to do this vertically and how what kind of setup you get you could get vertically. Again, we've kept the um, the alpha graphic tripod in the same spot so you get the down view on my uh, palette and in this case we're using the ring light and a cell phone here and shooting in just with that big ring light this again with the $50.99 ring light tripod uh, situation so let me just show you a little few strokes this way and then I'm going to actually flip to a different tripod and even more reasonably priced tripod, and it's the one I use every day. Um, but you can 
can see how the quality of what you get with this, and I'm going to sculpt in. The painting is very wet, so you're going to get a lot of back blossoms. And if we were actually doing a demo, I would get out um, the hair dryer, but we're not doing a real demo. We're just showing you what you can see. And I'm just sculpting around the face. Shadow shapes going through here. Start to build my composition a little bit more. A little bit more cobalt blue violet in here. still show your power. And you can see how this is set up. I'm using a little ring light. This is a re very reasonably priced little ring light right here. And I use this every day when I'm painting on um, when I'm painting on Zoom calls and teaching my class via Zoom. Okay, so now I'm showing you the setup I use when I teach. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty inexpensive. This is a little Fuji Tech stick. Um, I've got my little ring light up here, a reasonably priced ring light. And um, I'm using this dead on to my painting. And you can see, you can see really good um, clarity and in terms of uh, what your students or uh, viewers can see. You can see this go to a spot that's not wet because this is super wet and if I was really doing this as a painting I would stop and start to uh, get the hair dryer out but we're not doing that. So you just get the idea of seeing everything. stick very simple and that's all it is and you can get a great picture you can get a great um, uh, great clarity and you can really get the angle um, for people to see your work okay what I'm going to show you here is talking into a cell phone camera using the Fuji stick and here we've got the iPad demonstrating down on, and this is the iPad on the uh, Artographic Art, Artograph e, uh, tripod, and or any other projection tripod. And you can see me painting, and you can see how this works, and what you can see with that as your two. Uh, sources or two camera rolls. So this is how you get two camera rolls going in um, your demonstration and then we'll put them together A roll, B roll and have different um, different shots and different angles. So have a great, I hope we've, you've learned a lot. We're going to show you now some of the, cam the items laid out on the table and then have a great day. You're going to enjoy this. It's a lot of fun. but it's important. Here we were shooting in an art center where we could take paintings off the wall, we had clear, uh, uh, an empty wall. Sometimes if you're shooting at home, 
you've got a lot of clutter and it's impossible to remove the clutter. So this is a photo stand and really reasonably priced. This is a photo stand without the green screen. You can just throw a sheet over it to block things, but you want to either declutter or have something to block so, so that people are just focusing on you. And here we have our recording devices, uh, an iPhone, an Android, and an iPad mini. And this iPad mini uh, is in a tripod mount. Tripod mount is very reasonably priced. Here we have different tripods that we showed you. Uh, this is the Artograph 1 left over from an old projector. This is the, the Fujitech. Um, it's a selfie stick. Uh, this one is the one that has the gimbal on it, so it makes it a little easier. This one is also a little flexible one. Uh, it's called a UV size tripod. It's very flexible legs and uh, has a nice gimbal on it. And this is a microphone boom, uh, just useful to get height. Uh, you need to then figure out, uh, have something that has, a, has something, in this case we were mounting this on it to get the gimbal. Here we have lighting. Lighting is very, very important. We're shooting in a building that has state-of-the-art LED lights. You may not have that or you may have good outdoor light. Check your lighting before you start shooting to make sure you've got the best possible light. We've got this big um, selfie stick slash 10 inch ring light. This is the $50.99 version with the, uh, with the iPad hold or the iPhone holder in it. This is a clamp version with a ring light and this is the simple ring light that I use every day. Now, uh, first of all, make sure you um, shoot your video in small increments. This will also help you think about what it is you're paying, what it is you're demonstrating. It allows you to take breaks, get a drink of water, use the facilities, get a snack, etc. Um, think about where you have, where you're going. Maybe get out the hair dryer and dry something. So have them uh, your. Um, shots be 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes, no more than no more than that. It's anything longer, it takes really long time to transfer. Then you're going to get it on your computer. You're going to, um, uh, whatever device your computer and your phone you use to um, transfer. On a Mac, I just use um, Apple File Share um, and, and a, an Apple Drop, and I can just go on and uh, take a file that I've got on here. And, um, and turn on my computer. And go to photos. And I'll do, pick out one of my, uh, one of my films and do airdrop. And I can airdrop onto my, my computer. Then you're going to take the files from your computer. You can also take them directly from your computer through Dropbox, through um, uh, WeShare, through um, uh, Google. Um, there are various ways. We're going to provide you directions on how to transfer your files based upon what kind of uh, device you're using, whether you're moving it from your phone to your computer, or whether you're just moving it from your phone. So look for us to provide you specific information. Thanks. Now here's another helpful tip. Do some testing before you do your big film. Uh, film yourself to get a sense of what the lighting is like and film yourself also to get a sense of whether you, your sound is, quality is okay or whether you need to get an external mic. Lighting, test it to see if you need to get some more ring lights, change the directions. Uh, test your um, your setups in terms of the angles on both your paper and your palette. Is that what you want to show or do you want to adjust things first before you get started and get too involved because you're just going to have to start your demo all over again, do another drawing, etc, etc. So do some testing. Also, what are we looking for for Floor Watercolor Society in a demo, in a video? Well, first of all, we want obviously a good quality demo. We want it to be really engaging. 
tell people what you're going to show them, show them, and then tell them what you showed them. We want it to have uh, good sound so people can hear. We want good lighting so they can see what it is you're doing. We want it to be clear and straightforward. Not too long uh, at night, but we can edit it down, so don't worry about that. Uh, so, if you have any questions, if you want to send us some test videos to, let, to see what we think, let us know. Thanks so much and have a great day.